I did a paper way back when that uh, was blocked from publication that uh, basically showed that if you do the optical model, it the free radical generation uh, in the skin is half of it is associated with UV. The other half is associated with visible. And what people don't realize is, is that when you get a sunscreen for the body to uh, prevent some forms of skin cancer, in particular basal cell carcinoma, which has been on the rise for all these years, even though we've been using sunscreen, the, what happens is optically is, is that the, uh, the visible portion and the UV and the blues, the violets and the greens localize in the basal cell region of the skin. So in order for you to use, for sunscreen to be really effective, you actually need to absorb in the blues and the violets and the greens, which means you have to put on dark face. Literally going on is the, while the sunscreen may help you with melanoma, it actually increases the time that you spend out there outside exposed to blue and greens because when you put a sunscreen, UV blocking sunscreen on, it literally uh, reduces the sunburn that you're going to get, the erythema. And so you'll spend more time outdoors thinking you're safe when in reality you're actually increasing your exposure to the blues and the violet and the violets, which are then localizing optically in the basal layer. So, you know, my problem is, is that you know, there was a company there in Australia that tried to sell some sunscreens that show, did tried to uh, deal with the blues and the violets. But, uh, you know, we're basically have created this kind of environment uh, that giving false. Yes, melanoma is terrible. Don't want to argue with it. Why don't you just wear a hat? You know, that's a, that's a little bit better way to do it. Now, when you go down to talking about cruises stuff. Um, people tend to think about, uh, that the melanin is just this dye, you know, you're black, you're white or whatever. Actually, melanin is produced as a little granule and it is very specifically placed in, in various parts of the cells around the nucleus. Optically, that's really quite fascinating because it, because they can actually put a higher concentration on the outer portion of the nucleus, so it blocks, you know, it blocks it. Optically, it allows the rest of the energy to prop propagate deep, deep in. So, one of the things about melanin is is that it's not continuous. People think it is because when we look at somebody, we see a dark skin or a light skin or whatever. The melanin is actually dispersed very spatially and very carefully in the body. And there's been people who have taken melanin and made solar cells out of them. You know, it's possible. It, optically, it is, uh, it's, it is interesting that for those who know about the dermis epidermis barrier, it has a lot of modulation on it, it uh, where it has all these different ripples and that type of stuff. Um, the melanin is actually put in optically. If I were to design a solar collector, I would put the little granules in a particular location in there that the body does, and it would enhance the effective ability of the melanin to absorb and to uh, do whatever it's doing. Do I know what it's doing? No, I don't know what it's doing. But optically, it is uh, being placed very ideally for it doing something uh, like dealing with water or whatever.